Welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. My name is Stefan Meyer, and in each video I'll show you a different vehicle engine. Follow me. The videos are aimed at professional mechanics, not DIY car enthusiasts. We have an engine from 2013 VW Golf 7. It's a 103 kilowatt 1.4 liter engine with the engine code CPTA. Today we are looking at how to change the water pump complete with timing belt. The distinctive feature here is that the engine's water pump is flange mounted on the rear and is driven via a separate timing belt rather than the camshaft belt. For this you use our CT1169 WP1 timing belt kit with water pump containing the following. The engine has been turned around because we're going to begin at its rear. You start by draining the coolants, exposing the water pump in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and setting TDC at cylinder number one. I've already demonstrated in another video how to set TDC at cylinder one. This link takes you to our tutorial for changing the timing belt in a 2013 Golf 7 with the engine code CPTA. What is notable about this water pump is its drive mechanism using a separate timing belt. Every time the water pump is removed, the timing belt has to be replaced too. When removing the water pump, you must undo the bolts in a certain sequence that I will show you now. You start at the top here with bolt 5, then proceed in a counterclockwise direction, 4, 3, 2, 1, unscrewing the bolts in that order. You are now able to remove the water pump and thermostat together with the belt. Now undo the thermostat housing from the old water pump and bolt it onto the new one. When fitting the seal, pay attention to its special fitting lugs. The reason for setting TDC at cylinder 1 and doing things in this exact sequence is that we have to ensure the water pump undergoes a specific tensioning process. When we fit the water pump, we need some assistance because we have to exert a permanent load of 30 Newton meters on the pump using a 10 mm hex key right here. While tightening the water pump bolts in a certain sequence to set torques. You position the water pump in place, then screw in the bolts by hand in the following sequence. We start at 1, then 2, 3, 4 and 5. Following this, tighten the bolts to 10 Newton meters in the same sequence from 1 to 5, then loosen them all one turn in the same order again. This is where you need the help of a colleague. Here at the bottom we have a hexagonal recess for a 10 mm hex key. We insert a torque wrench into this and exert a preload of 30 Newton meters on the water pump. This 30 Newton meters of tension must be maintained until the water pump has been completely bolted into place. You now proceed to tighten bolts 2, 1 and 5 to 10 Newton meters and then 3, 4, 5, 1, 2 to 12 Newton meters in that order. The timing belt here at the top will then be tensioned correctly and you'll have completed installation of the water pump. You can now reassemble everything in reverse order. Follow the safety instructions when refilling the cooling system. Our new thermal management toolkit, the WO2 toolbox, is handy for refilling the cooling system. It includes a vacuum filling device for the cooling system. So we are almost done. Now you just have to finish reassembling the engine. Follow the manufacturer's specifications, particularly for the tightening torques. Remember, don't overdo the tightening. 
Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartments where it's clearly visible so that the customer sees you have installed quality. Thank you.